This is a video that many of you have been waiting for. Are the Hustle Brothers finally wrong? It's China versus America. It's Ehang versus Joby and Archer. Reese, Ehang have just completed the first celebrity flight, and I have a video to show all the guys. But what are your thoughts on this? Well, I think this is huge news, and it might be a scenario where I need to hold my hands up and say that we might have been wrong on Ehang, and they might be finally the biggest player in this game. This is monumental. I couldn't believe it when I seen it. Um, I actually thought at one point there might be some sort of AI-generated video that was created, and uh, it's a massive play from Ehang. And they were a sleeping giant, and we probably overlooked them when I done my video saying about their security guard sleeping. Um, but... Oh, it's, it's it's crazy. It really is crazy. What about you? How did you think? Or what did you think when you seen uh, this video? Well, I'm going to be dead honest with the guys. I was laying down in my bed when I found out about this. My little brother came in and he said, have your flying car stock gone up? And I go, what do you mean my flying car stock? And he goes, your Archer and Joby, have they gone up? And I go, no. And I thought he was more or less taking the mick out of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About and all these things, this celebrity's off the flying. And I was like, nah, there's no way. And he showed me the video. And that's the video we're going to share on this. But my initial thoughts and reaction, mate, I couldn't believe it. Yeah. Um, we're going on about the PR from Archer. This yeah. has blown everything out of the water. And before wow. we show the video, I kind of want to say, like, why have Archer and Joby not done this? Yeah. The amount of insurance that it would have taken with a celebrity of this scale to yeah. fly on an Evita like this. Like, I want to dedicate this one to Bagger Holden. <laughs> Say we're wrong now. He is literally flying in the Evita. We're always being told that these things do not work. They cannot lift yeah. a person. Look, we're going to see. And the one thing I want to add is that he streamed the whole thing. So he's recorded a video of him doing it and him in the craft and him, it, like his reaction whilst he's doing it. Um, it's This is this is brilliant for the EV toll space, I think. But Now, there's one thing I want to definitely highlight in this. And I want to tell you before we watch it. When we lift off, watch his reaction. When he's hovering midair, Watch his reaction. Exactly what I said. If people are afraid of heights, are they going to go in these aircraft? This man has done bungee jumps. He's dived out of planes. He's clearly not afraid of heights. But his reaction shows all. And that was the only little worry I had about this. That he is an adrenaline junkie. However, he did seem quite apprehensive while traveling in this vehicle <laughs> which he would be like he's the he first celebrity to go up in it 100 percent. but the other thing is that we always have to remember that the dramatization is what gets people interested in watching these uh, streams and videos and i think we need to bear that in mind but also the fact that he was willing to get into it it obviously shows that ehang are confident and are happy to carry this out but are also it must mean that their like, actual design and how successful they're going at the moment when we were sort of questioning i think the sort of the chinese aviation authority and saying where they still less stringent or were the rules easier to be bent um but the fact that they're doing this with this level of celebrity knowing that one slight mistake or malfunction would pretty much i'd say send the entire stock plummeting um i think it was brave and I also think it was an excellent PR move to say, here, we're the biggest players. And how funny is it? It's the same week as the tariffs. I don't know if that has anything to play on it. But um, yeah, it's a, a very, very funny uh, coincidence. Well, what kind of worries me is, before we mention who the celebrity is, this guy is Elvis, Tom Cruise level. Yeah. What did you say? 38 million followers YouTube subscribers. Yeah. Or subscribers. Like, this guy is a US phenomenon. So for Archer and Joby to better this, 
who are they going to have to get? They're going to have to get like Cristiano Ronaldo or someone. Like I <laughs> yeah. really don't know. How it would be. Play. It'd have to be yeah. that. Season. That Lionel Messi, um, Will Smith. It'd have to be someone in the stratosphere. Um, but this is this is massive. Like he is. He's got at the moment. He's got the record for the most concurrent live viewers, which was one million, um, and it shattered the previous record. Uh, which I think was around 500,000 or something like that. Um, that was also so, the Archer stream, was it? That was it, yeah, yeah, that was the one. It was, uh, yeah, we're going to have to really up our game now to make sure we beat that one. But yeah, literally, this is this is un- unbelievable. Um, well, without further ado, will I just jump into the video? I think we need to, yeah, yeah, let's discuss this. So, guys, I want to clarify, we cannot play the audio from this video, but we will narrate it. As we go on. So our celebrity is I Show Speed. Now, Reese, do you want to give a quick description of who I Show Speed is for any of the guys that don't know? So I Show Speed is massive within the younger generation. Um, for example, with your brother, with my brother, um, I don't know exactly how he's done it, but he's literally gone from in his own bedroom streaming to he's literally just a worldwide phenomenon. Um, any country he goes to, they, he gets mobbed. Um, and at the moment, he seems to become an, just an A, A-list celebrity. You'll see him rubbing shoulders with the likes of the Will Smiths and the Brad Pitts and stuff like that. Um, and him, for the younger generation, is probably the equivalent of these Brad Pitts and Will Smiths of the previous generation, or the Elvis, like you said earlier. Um, yeah. So him coming in, I think... Is going to be monumental for getting that younger generation and getting their belief in the Vito aircrafts. The fact yeah. that he's done it, I imagine there's loads of children in, uh, or children or young adults in China, America, that are now looking at this and thinking, like, oh, I want to try and go in one of those. And as we've said many a time, Liam, and I, I think we're going to have to reiterate it now, we're probably going to be going for that market. We're going to go for the market that are going to be in there. 20s to 30s to, to 40s in the next 10 to 20 years when we are pushing through that for, uh, certification and the commercialization worldwide and getting a celebrity like this really does give it that stamp of approval like if he can survive and get through and he's 100 like fine and healthy looking or well, he doesn't look it there but <laughs> the fact that he is doing it will make everyone believe that this is going to be the transportation of the future like the thing that really worries me about this is Joby hasn't put out any PR. And how can you compete with this? Like, any of these young guys, I know everyone's going to say they're not long-term investors. However, they would be looking up the likes of this company, Ehang. It wouldn't surprise yeah. me on Monday if we get a massive pump from Ehang because an incredible amount of retail investors pump right in there because they now think Ehang, well, they don't only think it, it's more or less being proved it, that they yeah. are head when it comes to getting these out commercially. Now, does this make you rethink your position on Archer and Joby? And would you be adding into Ehang? Or are you still fully backed Archer and Joby? Well, I think this has made me reconsider my position on jo- uh, on uh, Ehang. I think Archer and Joby obviously are our true love really in this in this industry. But Ehang, we sort of it was sort of the ugly sister of the EV toll community. And we were sort yeah. of overlooking them and there were sort of questions on their validity. But the fact that they are able to put a celebrity of this status up on a, on video as well for the whole world to see. I think on that uh, video there it had 38,000 viewers at the time. And then obviously once they clip it up and then send it around the internet, it will get millions of views. Yeah, it's it's brilliant, obviously PR, and it gives you that stamp of approval that this EV, uh, this EV toll works. I, I think the uh, the next stage, obviously, will be to be a trip around because obviously that was just a, a short journey up and down. The next step, and that maybe is the way that Archer and Joby could probably outdo them, would be to do a journey from point A to point B, and would it be with a speed or a celebrity of that class? I don't know. Um, but what monumental times for the uh, EV toll community. And yeah, I think really we need to do, I think we need to have a big shout out for um, 
bag of holding who didn't think that this uh that we could fly a 200 pound person up um not including the seats apparently but uh this is just another step forward isn't it for the EV, ev whole community in general reese i was kind of thinking about it like the runabout a celebrity up on um speed level like there's two of us and there's archer and joby like i'm willing to go on midnight if you're willing to go on s4 or vice versa uh, yeah and that's I, fun. if you want to see why you should be bullish on either archer or joby over reese's face i'm gonna put the video on why to be bullish on archer and over mine i'm gonna put a video on why you should be bullish on joby 